This is how to set up your Google credentials in under five minutes. You can connect to any Google app at NNN for both cloud and local. Let's go. So we're here in NNN. We'll actually go ahead and check one of the uh, nodes in NNN that need uh, credentials and a uh, client ID and client secret. So you'll actually see that here. And um, to actually get that done, you can get some help here on NNN's website. And uh, the first thing that's required is uh, setting up a Google Cloud account. So when you go on there, you'll simply log in on your Gmail. If you're not already logged in, you'll go ahead and click console. And then I'm here on a test project. But what you'll go ahead and do is simply select project. You'll click a new project. I believe you could also do create project there. And then I'll just put test demo N8N, for example. And then we'll go and wait for that to complete. There we go. And then now that we're in, what we'll go ahead and actually do is we will navigate to API and services, OAuth right there. And then since it's not configured, we'll go ahead and get started. You can name this again, whatever you want, N8N demo two, it doesn't really matter too much. And then user support email, make sure you have that on there. Um, put it as external, that's okay. And then a specific email that you want it to work with. This is just an email that I have for this video, good to go. And then once we have that process, we'll go ahead and get that finished and created, and then that'll be good to go. Now, once that's created, we'll go ahead and create an OAuth client. So it'll be super simple, guys. This is step one, create a web application in the client. You will need this, which you'll be able to get directly from N8N. Just copy and paste this, and then put that in there, create, and then you should have your client ID and client secret, which you can access right here. So that's step one completed. Step two is you're gonna actually need the various um, APIs enabled. So just go across Google Docs, Drive, Sheets, etc., all those things that you need, and go ahead and just press enable really quick, and we'll just run through that real fast. Now that we have all the Google services enabled, we'll go ahead and click OAuth consent screen. And then from there, data access. And what we'll do is add all the scopes. So for most people, this is gonna be the case. If you're more technical, you can you know edit this, but for simplicity's sake, we're just gonna give you full access to everything like you would on normal Gmail or Google Docs or whatever, you can do everything, right? And then from there, after we're finished with that, we'll go to audience and we'll press publish app. And then we'll confirm that. And then once that's good to go, we'll actually be able to put this straight into N8N. So let's go ahead and copy the client ID. We'll paste that in there. And then the client secrets, same thing, paste it in there. And then it will allow you to sign in through Google. Okay, you'll get this pop-up, but that's fine. You essentially created this app yourself, so it'll work just fine. Select all, continue, and then you will notice connection successful. And you'll know that it, it worked from account connected. And if we go back to N8N, you'll see everything is connected perfectly well. Gmail, you can do the same process for all of these. It'll ask for client ID, secret, login, you'll be good to go. Now for those that are doing local and your website URL will look something like that, then it's a similar process. The only change that you have to do, it's uh, very simple. It's also gonna ask you for client ID and secret, but you might be getting errors. The only thing you have to do, create client ID instead of a web app, we're gonna create a desktop app super simple and then essentially that is essentially the only change so we'll go back client id copy paste client secret sign in with google same thing we just did a second ago advanced uh, go to n8n select all so that they have full access and bam there you go connection successful and then if we go back this is local by the way you'll see we're fully connected anything you need got it right there. So hope you guys enjoyed that. That's uh, both cloud NADN and local NADN, how to set up your Google credentials. If you guys have any questions, what you want to see, please go ahead and subscribe, comment, put a like on the video and let me know below what you'd like. If you want access to totally free NADN templates that are great for yourself, your business to save time and money, go ahead and check out the description below. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great time. Thank you so much.